Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I have another interesting video here in the lab. Uh, this is going to be some testing showing how to use a tool that I just got. I'm very happy about it and I want to share this with you. Uh, so this is the Smart Tweezers. This is something I purchased myself. And I want to show you how to set this tool up so you can use it with the Windows machine because this is a Bluetooth tweezer. It's an LCR meter. It's called, again, a Smart Tweezers. And this tool can actually do almost everything this big LCR meter does with one advantage. The way this one definitely is going to be a better tool for use if you remove the components and you want to test each component outside the board. The problem with this one is that it, pro it produces a signal in order to, you know, to activate a component and read it and then and read the the change on that voltage and then if that's how it tests resistors capacitors inductors coils etc right and as, th as this one you select the frequency depends on the size of the capacitor that you're checking this comes with a a quick guide that you can uh, read and find online again with the smart tweezers company you can read that and it tells you how to set it up the only thing is a little confusing because they talk about a bluetooth usb receiver this comes with no receiver. My computer doesn't need a receiver because it has a Bluetooth um, built in. So using the software that comes in this dongle that they send with, you know, with the tool, um, you need to have a receiver that they don't supply. And then how are you going to set it up with the instructions that they give you here is very confusing. Again, I was able to figure it out and that's what I want to share because this is such a great tool that is worth for me to show you, especially if you work in electronics or you'd like to uh, create you know, devices and you need to check components already installed without like, oh, what is the problem that I have? Do I have a bad capacitor, a bad resistor? And anyone that works in this that knows that is so time consuming because you need to remove, install, remove, install, try and error, like I said. And sometimes the Kurt Tracer can be very handy because it works really well. But the problem is, again, when you have in serious um, devices or not devices, components, it will read, uh, let's say you put them into a resistor and it's, if it has a capacitor right, right after in series, it will read both and then skew the reading. And that is, it will give you, for those who use a Kurt Fraser, kind of like the circle on a resistor, you know, like, how is that possible? Well, it's because it's a capacitor right after. That's the reason why. Um, the multimeters, they're really good, and they can read capacitance and resistance. Again, they're no good if you're installed, if the ca capacitor of the resistor is installed in the board. So that's why I got this, this tweezer. So this is small tweezer. is Bluetooth, as I already probably mentioned. Uh, you can uh, look in online. It's pretty easy to do the setup. Uh, you can just select enter the menu and then go down and set up the uh, Bluetooth, which uh, this has this little joystick in here that you can press in. Let me show you just that, like one second. So you go, come on. So yeah, it's a little on the hard side. Uh, you go to uh, system, then you go down. To Bluetooth and, and mine is already on because I already set it up. But that's how you access it. And that A means automatic. You can also select if you if we see this again on the quickest start, it tells you you know how to scroll and select you know resistance, uh, inductors, capacitors, diodes, uh, um, etc. Right. So this is very good because it can measure all this. And it tells you the frequency and the voltage level. So you can have it as, as low as half a volt and as high as one volt, which is very good because it's not going to activate the next the next component if it's in series. And that will tell you, I have already a sample that I took before, and that's what I want to show you that in here it says series, 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 but you see, parallel. So these resistors in parallel was some other thing, but the resistor reading was perfect. It was a hundred, a hundred ohm resistor. So I got the camera going right here. So I'm going to start that recording. Now use the tweezer and I'm going to clear the data we have here. That's all you need to do. Just clear here. I will explain a little bit about the setup just in a second. 
I just want to show you how fast this I have it like to record or get the um, let me start the recording of that that will record the files that were actually now will be uh, checking on resistors or anything that we have here so I'm going to put the image right there and you guys can see as well in here that was already set up and that was an 100 100 on resistor read 105 so that's pretty good uh, we got this capacitor in here and a reader already did I see the capacitor moving no let's just say I'm going to set up another resistor that's a 10 ohm resistor yep it's actually a 10 ohm resistor let's see what this is it says this looks like an inductor and so now going back in here you see I got all that data saved and since I already selected the file where this is going to be recorded I just need to stop this I can go to that file which I'm going to open one second in here so you guys can see it because I saved all this into uh, I already created a folder with the name of smart tweezer log file so it's just a quick and we're going to read the latest one which is this one I was just doing some try so we don't have to you guys don't have to be it's me uh, looking at me trying an error or you know trying it and making it work but as you see all it shows the data uh, you know the timestamp for the test what kind of component you were testing the reading on that and then second data reading this is speak of pico of that's microfarad uh oh that's an it that's that's up that's uh, will be a pico henry hopefully i'm saying it that right so this is a resistor so 800 ohms no eight eight ohms 33 ohms i am not sure let me see because sometimes now looking at in here that's got to be for ohm i'm not sure what the mr they're referring to here but again just give me a break because i'm a little tired today this is the frequency of the test and this is the voltage of the test but so what i'm trying to show here is that you can either uh, do your own map through a computer you're testing okay you want to record what i usually do is i take a nice high quality picture with my best camera and then i can take zoom into that into that image and now i can mark one two three four five six seven and whatever numbers i want r1 r2 c1 c2 l1 r2 you know what i mean as many resistors because you can have up to 500 resistors in this computer maybe even more than that so you can just name it as one and then with this you can just go with a picture and select one two three four just check the resistors and then you're going to have all the resistors log saved in order and now you know if it's 254 you know you went from two from one to 254 so isn't that fast yes it's super fast that's a super fast way to now again save your own data to compare now have a known good computer to a known bad computer when it fails okay now you're is it, is it a component do we have a bad capacitor we have a bad resistor with these you don't need to remove that's already a, a number one thumbs up and then the second one is having this software that you can record information and then use it as your own let me stamp now the screen record i forgot about that so here on here i'm going to stop the data no matter what we already show that on before you can set up the connection it's already paired it's already set as bluetooth so all i need to do or you guys need to do is go over to bluetooth and other devices and you're going to add a device in my case it's already added and i'm going to show you here it will sh it will appear as st5s bt and then connect to it after you pair it then you come over to these connection settings you select this as bluetooth list the device and then select and it will tell you it's pair true connected true that's it so you know that you're in and then load the data you can like i now i just did stop the data now i can load the data i can also clear the log that i have here that's the history remember i already had that save on the file that is on the um 
uh, on that uh, Excel file that I just showed you, or you can take a picture. You can take an, a screen picture if you want. You know, Windows has all I have. It. I use this tool, the Snip and Sketch, all the time because it saves me. Uh, I can save every test that I'm doing on the diagnostics or whatever and send that as part of the report for the customers. Um, okay, now the software that I'm using is not the one that comes on that Bluetooth dongle that comes with this. I actually went online and um, and I'm saving, uh, sorry, and I was looking for this information. So let me take you over to there. So this, you can find it in the Microsoft um, store and you can get it. This is the one you wanna get. Let me just get, well, this is already a screen recording. So I'm going to put this on. So I'm going to go back to their site because this is the, the smart tweezers and they take, it takes you there. So if you go to the news, it takes direct connectivity Windows app. You don't want to use any of these ones because it's it's worthless. I I am not sure about this one. I didn't download this one and I don't want to try it because it's already uh, working good. The one it comes with the tool, don't use that one. It's just you're not going to be able to set it up because that's asking for a dongle receiver that you are not going to have. If you have a computer that has already Bluetooth, you just use what I'm showing you here. It's pretty easy. Uh, the next thing you can do is you can also search on Google, uh, sorry, YouTube. They got, uh, oops, sorry, that's not what I want to share. So you got uh, this one, it's just from there, uh, from them, a smart tweezer with Bluetooth. There is actually an app on the App Store for the, uh, you can use this with uh, Android in, um, iOS devices, all the iPhones, it works really good and, and it connects super fast. And again, it creates the same log and you can save it as a Excel sheet and send it to yourself in an email. So this is for me, a really, really good tool. I had to just check and see what is the battery is uh, live. I haven't completely fully sure, but it's, I mean, it's rechargeable. I am very happy. Um, now let me take you over to the actual purchase site, which was DigiGift for me. Let me see if I can find it. So, oh, Digi, uh -huh. Okay, you are going to be, we can just look for a smart tweezers. I'm trying to do this. Um, as you will be looking in, because a lot of people, can you send the link? Please just, you know, do what I'm showing you to do here. It will be really easy for you to find it. Um, soldering. Did I put it right? A smart tweezer. Because I don't want to log in into my account. Soldering tweezers, equipment and multimeters. So let me see. It might be here. Yeah, they are here. So, yep, it's actually just going to multimeters and equipment. And then the one you want to look is this one, BT2. And that is actually the price. So right there, they have it on a stock, really easy to get, uh, and it works fantastic. So again, DG key and look for smart tweezers and look for the one I chose as BT2. If you don't want to have a Bluetooth, I'm, I honestly think that it's completely worth uh, worth it to, to get the, the one with the Bluetooth. You can get just this one, which is no Bluetooth. And as you can see, it's like $40 different. I think that for the difference in price, it's just worth to get the one with the Bluetooth. You can connect it to your phone, save the files, and it's gonna make it, you know, if you're doing a test, a mass production test, this is going to be really, really handy. You have the log, you don't have to be thinking on anything. And you can change a lot of stuff or on the settings on, on these tools are changing. You can change it on here on the actual application that we're seeing right here. You can set it up by Bluetooth, configure over Bluetooth. And then when you turn this software on, you just set select it and that will set up the tool as you want it right there because you can have the test signal on one bolt 
or you can also the period uh, you want a fast capture every half a second because uh, if you set it too fast and you keep the tweezer in there it's going to just record the same value over and over very very quickly so don't set it too fast i think that one second uh, is probably it takes one second to record it it's good enough and then the value of the voltage it depends again on what you're checking so is the frequency if you're uh, checking, you know, a uh, big capacitor, 100 hertz, if you're checking a small capacitors or a inductors, 10 kilohertz is probably what you're looking for. Again, there is a lot of information on that online. I just wanted to share because this is really, really handy, not have to desolder every single component and knowing that you are reading the correct value is really, really good. Because believe me, I removed some of the components, especially those inductors and those capacitors, and the, the, the reading was exactly the same. So that's what I'm share, sharing this with you. It's worth, for me, I think, I also another thing that I forgot to mention, because this is really well built, um, they come, with the accuracy uh, certificate. So the calibration uh, certificate is with the tool. You can buy probably cheaper tools and that is, they don't have this. So if anything is off of specs, you can send it back. They will they will give you another tool for sure. It's made in Canada but by Smart Tweezers. Again, this is just hopefully not too, show, uh, not too long of a video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you guys like this uh, tool reviews that I'm trying to do. Again, this is not just um, as a tool because I am making no money on that at all. This is a tool that I purchased myself. I just want to share this for all you guys that do electronic testing. If you're doing EEPROM uh, repairs or reading, sometimes you need to disorder components and then when you disorder and they might become bad and then you created a problem. With this, you can check right away before you disolder what the value of that capacitor that you're removing in order to read that EEPROM is and to make sure that when you put it back that it's still reading the same. Because otherwise you're going to be sending a computer back that it's not going to be working and it's, you know, time consuming, uh, reputation, etc. right? So this is well bored for me, especially as we're working on this, 100% worth it. So again, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share my, my videos. That helps me a lot. Um, the channel is growing really, really fast, and I'm very happy about that. I'm looking forward to get to that 50,000 uh, subscriber mark as fast as possible and then get to the 100,000 so we can get that YouTube banner in here. <laughs> That'll be nice for the channel. Again, guys, uh, see you next time. Thank you so much for stopping by.